two stands that were left over from the STS-123 mission when the boom was temporarily stored there in preparation for STS-124 when the boom couldn't fit in the shuttle's cargo bay because it was carrying up uh, the Kibo Laboratory, which is the station's largest laboratory. The crew has already um, disconnected the sensors on the end of the orbiter boom sensor system, or what was the OBSS. Um, those won't be used by the space station. This will just add, add an extra 50 feet of length to the space station's robotic arm in case that's ever needed. Okay, go ahead. All right, we have the EFGF on the red. We have an empty red. We have a pry bar with the red and scissors with the red. And we also have two adjustables on the outside. Crew's now beginning to do, go through some of the cleanup steps that they need to wrap up the last of this activity. They had originally intended to have Mission Specialist Mike Fink take the old grapple fixture, which uh, wasn't compatible with the space station's robotic arm, that they have just replaced and take that uh, and store it in the space shuttle's cargo bay for return home. But to save time, they're going to have him bring it inside instead and, and possibly it will be brought home uh, during, during the STS-135 mission. After we dropped off the EFTF, so I'm looking for a total of looks like three rats internal. Four rats, one is empty. Okay, copy. That sounds good. Using the curves, you get to check on the back. And uh, Taz, when you're done, we'll need a check on the crew lock back. I think you can get the uh, the bag on your BRT. Yes, indeed. So I didn't hear a confirmation of the plan uh, of the EDF. Is that going uh, back to the LZ or to the... I'm going to try that out right now. Houston, uh, I guess the bag is going back to uh, the airlock at this time, and then we'll get set up for the uh, SPDM EDF release. I think the bag stays with Spanky because he has a pry bar on the bag, we believe, and so he'll need that with him. Yeah, good call. Copy that. Yeah, don't leave home without it.
it off the PGF. Yeah, I'll leave that call to you guys, the two of you, to decide uh, how you want, to, how you think the handoff would be best achieved. Yeah, this is about a good place. A better place would be a little closer to the uh, top of the uh, bus. Okay, I'll take your DTA. The top of phase one. Okay. I'm going to wait for Mike a little bit here. So, Mike, I'm listening. All right, I'm right on your, I'm right on your uh, see you. left side. I see you. Well, just do it just close enough for us to do the swap. Okay. Okay, box uh, station uh, port, uh, one meter. Copy, station port, one meter, starting motion. And, Taz, you might, you might even just set yourself up to bail off on top of the MBSU or something. Thank you. 